Hi, this is Ennis from Never Stop Tracking. As promised, here is a video about uh, commodities to avoid as a carrier, uh, as a dispatcher, as a driver. Uh, I uh, saw some comments on uh, the channel uh, where you guys are asking me to uh, uh, say something about uh, uh, different uh, types of commodities that uh, we should avoid. And then I, I made a small list. Um, I don't know. I don't think that I have everything there uh, because uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, shippers. Uh, maybe I could do another video about that as well. Uh, that you know we should avoid. But here are some general commodities that uh, uh, we can all try to avoid and make it easier for uh, our drivers, our carriers, our owner operators whoever you're working with, so let's start. Uh, there are a lot of commodity types uh, that have to do uh, with paper uh, that I avoid. Um, paper, uh, clean paper, um, you know, books, um, uh, newspapers, printed uh, materials, uh, boxes, um, folded card boxes, you know, new card boxes, uh, these are all fine. Okay, but if, when someone tells you paper, then you always ask for more specifics. Uh, what kind of paper? Is it palletized? Is it trash? Is it scrap? Uh, is it paper rolls? Uh, what is it? So if it's paper rolls, uh, paper rolls are, are these big rolls. Uh, uh, and then, you know, like in a 53 foot dry van, uh, they can only load uh, just a, a several of these uh, paper rolls, like maybe, I don't know, seven or eight of them, depending on their size. But some of them are really wide and big. And they're tall, uh, and then usually, uh, like um, th they're almost as tall as the inside of the trailer. So, uh, like when they load it, it it's it's uh, it's very uh, unstable free. There is no way to secure it. They just uh, put uh, that roll of, of of paper flat on the ground uh, without securing. You know the st the straps that your driver will put in the back, like a couple of straps. You know, in case something happens, that's not going to hold much. That's just there, you know, just so DOT can see it and maybe just to say, like, hey, you know, I had straps. But those straps, uh, uh, these uh, paper rolls are uh, th heavy, you know, very heavy. Like, let's say you have like 45,000 uh, pounds of uh, uh, paper rolls and you get... Uh, um, like, um, I don't know, let's say eight rolls, okay, that's uh, over 5,000 pounds for one paper roll, okay? that's a lot of weight, um, so uh, the reason why I avoid it is because uh, uh, usually when you go come to a place that uh, does paper, uh, there are a lot of trucks, these are usually big places, big factories, uh, uh, with uh, a lot of traffic and, you know, the communication between them is usually bad, you know, because there are a lot of buildings, a lot of people, a lot of freight to move. Um, uh, sometimes they're on remote locations. If you go like uh, southeast, uh, you know, they have a lot of paper. But here in Michigan, like in Kalamazoo, uh, you know, like when you hear Kalamazoo, then you know uh, that it, this is probably paper and they, they have a lot of uh, paper factories there. Uh, so this is heavy, um, usually not paying that great. Um, it's paper rolls, you know, it's un unstable and, and they're tall. So uh, the driver really has to know what, what, the, what they're doing. Uh, like if they're um, in, in a sharp curve on an on and off ramp, um, you know, making sudden turns, uh, they have to be very careful because it's easy to tip over uh, with uh, uh, freight that, that is high like that, okay? Um, so uh, that's why I avoid them. Uh, if someone tells you uh, scrap paper, then uh, that's also to be avoided. Um, and then when they say scrap, you tell them trash. They say, no, 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 it's, it's not trash. It's just shredded paper. Well, you know, what is it? It's, you know, recycled paper. Uh, they shred, like they get all these, uh, um, you know, paper sheets, uh, not cardboard, it's, it's mostly paper, and then they just shred them, and they um, press them into big uh, squares, okay? And uh, uh, these squares are, are pressed together, and they're usually tied up a little bit like a wire or something, uh, and then uh, they bring them in with a high-low in, in your truck, uh, but not not this is only heavy not 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 just that this is heavy uh, not that it's tall uh, it uh, uh, leaves a, a mess in your trailer 
so when when they offload it, uh, then the driver has to sweep it up. Uh, it's a lot of mess. Um, sometimes it's it, it can be wet or dirty, and then it messes up your trailer. So we don't want to mess uh, with shredded paper. And then, like I say, they don't say it's trash. To me, it's trash, especially if this is trash. Uh, like, you know, uh, picking up some kind of bailed boxes or bailed paper. Uh, this can be also considered trash, but to me it's all the same, whether it's recycled or, or just plain trash. Uh, then, well, I, and then I'm not saying trash like as if, uh, like, waste company. Uh, it's more like uh, sometimes they have these uh, uh, big bundles of paper that can be wet or greasy, and then they, they send them uh, further t for, you know, further recycling. And then uh, to me, I just call it uh, trash. It's not garbage. So those are all the uh, paper uh, things that uh, you should avoid. Uh, scrap paper slash recycled uh, slash bales uh, or uh, roll paper. Sometimes when they have uh, paper rolls, they have these, uh, um, um, these short rolls. They're not as tall. They're like uh, two, three, four feet high, you know, and, and those are okay. Um, to me, there's okay as long as it's not big paper rolls, you know. Uh, to, so that for for me, that's I don't like doing. That. I mean, I, when I was driving, I did a lot of them and I've I've done them, but I know most drivers don't like them, and then I just don't uh, ask them to do that. Anything that uh, has a word uh, scrap or uh, recycled, okay, uh, and the, sometimes brokers, you know, because maybe they don't know. Or maybe they do know, but they just don't, you know, no one wants that load and they kind of just uh, present it to you in a, in, in a really different way. Um, they, they will not say that this is scrap or recycled, but uh, you can tell uh, when, when you get the rate confirmation, you can tell uh, if you look at the shipper or receiver, uh, the commodity, um, it will sometimes say, uh, you know, something about uh, uh, recycling, okay? Um, and then you can also look up these uh, companies on Google and then, you, you know, we have pictures, we have satellite, we have street views, uh, we have reviews for these companies and then you can tell whether this is a, a recycling place. And so whatever it is, plastic, uh, metals, uh, aluminum, paper um, that has to do with that, I avoid uh, because it's heavy. Uh, sometimes they require scale tickets, you know, you have to scale it at the shipper or receiver or go to a, a scale house at a, tr at a truck stop. Uh, generally, these are dirty. Uh, they leave a, leave a mess in your trailer like uh, because all these are probably bundled to, together, just pressed together, and then, um, uh, you know, things come off as they load them, as the truck moves. You know, there's going to be a big mess of plastics, of, of metals, shavings. You know, it, it gets stuck into the wooden floor. Um, sometimes when they press these uh, plastic bottles together, uh, then uh, there are a lot of, uh, you know, like like soda pops, you know, this sugar and, and, and these juices will uh, flow out and then just get stuck on your floor and you can't, uh, you have to do a trailer washout, okay, because it, it just gets greasy and, and slippery and sticky, you know, you can't, you can't load anything decent after that, so you have to do a... a a trailer washout and uh, and uh, that not just slows you down and costs money it also sometimes after you get a, a trailer washout uh, your floor gets wet gets wet and uh, um, sometimes driver has to wait for the floor to dry out you know because they might not load them with food or, or something that's uh, sensible uh, sensitive to uh, moisture so anything that has scrap in it, I just don't do. Uh, anything that has a uh, world soil or nursery, uh, and that's, you know, usually plants, some kind of plants, uh, you know, fruits, like fruit trees or uh, um, Christmas trees. So that they, uh, you know, these trees and plants, you know, they, they have roots. They have, uh, sometimes they have pots, uh, but sometimes they're just uh, wrapped um, you know, and then, uh, you know, there is uh, soil and dirt around those roots or in these spots, and this all uh, usually get, uh, is loaded by hand and just put um, uh, on the floor like that. Uh, sometimes these plants or flowers, you know, they can be on racks, but then they have to be pushed in and sometimes they will tip over. 
and generally uh, these loads take long time to load a long time to unload you would have to go to a nursery somewhere in the country and then when you unload you may uh, have to go to different stores to unload them you know in, in each store you, you may have to assist uh, but uh, yeah leaves your uh, uh, trailer dirty um, takes long time to load and unload and then that's why when I ever whenever I hear a word nursery or trees uh, or anything that has to do with soil I just uh, don't do that um, anything uh, that has to do with mulch uh, mulch I don't do uh, either uh, it doesn't matter mulch is usually packed in bags uh, but uh, mulch is heavy and uh, these big um, uh, factories or what do they call like plants uh, that make mulch are usually very busy with a lot of trucks in line waiting, uh, disorganized and heavy, and I just don't do those loads. I don't want uh, the trouble. Um, another thing is uh, uh, shingles, okay, for roofing. And then uh, brokers have a nice word for this, building materials. Uh, whenever you hear building materials, always ask, you know, what kind of building materials, because that's a broad term. You know, when you say a building material, um, it can be a lot of things. It can be clean and on pallets, but it can be dirty. Um, it can be something out of ordinary. Uh, if they say shingles or if I notice, then I, I won't do the load. I have done it myself when I was driving. Usually, again, these are big plants uh, with a lot of trucks. Shingles, usually they, they load outside. They usually sit on the outside on, 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 on their um, uh, lots. Um, you know, under uh, rain and snow, and then they have these ramps, you just back up to a ramp with a truck, you know, and then they just bring them in uh, with the high low, uh, but these loads are very heavy, uh, shingles are very, very heavy, and there are a lot of trucks there waiting, uh, on, on, like trying to uh, drive between these uh, piles of shingles, uh, very disorganized, and uh, um, very uh, much traffic. Sand in bags is another commodity I uh, don't want to do. Uh, sand is heavy, same thing uh, as with other uh, building products. Uh, there are a lot of trucks there, um, probably outside, very heavy. And, you know, they're usually, all, all these things are very cheap. You know, paper, shingles, sand, mulch, they, they don't pay good rates on this uh, anyway. Um, so it's, it's really not worth uh, doing it. Uh, brick. Another thing, another building material, uh, bricks are heavy, uh, they tend to leave a mess, uh, and uh, I just don't want to do bricks. Coils. Uh, coils, in my opinion, are uh, meant to be transported uh, with uh, flatbeds, unless these are these, uh, uh, some, you know, like uh, low, low profile coils and, you know, very well secured to um, a pallet. Uh, and then they just put those pallets in the truck, then that should be fine. But if these are big coils, you know, big, tall, wide coils, and sometimes they just put them flat on the ground, uh, that's not safe. You know, if, if a, a truck can easily uh, tip over uh, and, uh, you know, this load can slide, you know, if the driver, you know, uh, suddenly breaks, everything can shift forward and even kill the driver. And then I don't want to do uh, coils, okay? Coils, uh, in my opinion, are for flatbeds. Graphite, uh, and this is uh, usually in big bags. Um, big bags, uh, and, and this is black, and uh, it's powder, and uh, it leaves a big mess in your trailer, and usually these are also plants, and they have a lot of them in like New Mexico, and, and over, in the, in, over there in that area, and then they, you brokers will not tell you. They, they are in remote areas. Um, uh, they, they just um, make it somewhere outside the city, and, you know, big bags, uh, heavy, uh, a big mess in your trailer. Uh, don't don't uh, mess with that. Uh, water, uh, and then this is usually uh, water in bottles, uh, and then you have a lot of uh, uh, factories doing that, uh, uh, you know, like Coke, or Nestle water, uh, these big makers of bottled water. Uh, and, you know, th these are clean loads. Uh, there is nothing wrong with them. It's just that usually, uh, not, that, not just that they are heavy, uh, but usually uh, it takes long time to load and unload. Usually they go to big DCs, uh, they'll maybe deliver at night and, you know, pick up in a big DC. And it's just a mess uh, over there. You know, they have a lot of rules and... Uh, 
be just I just don't want to mess with that um, so I don't do water and then uh, another uh, commodity that I don't do is beer um, beer is um, you, you know you can uh, there are a lot of cities who, who do beer and then I, I don't know if I'm gonna you know think uh, of all of them right now like St. Louis, uh, Denver, Colorado, uh, Syracuse, New York, Rochester, New York um, they, they have a uh, Columbus, Ohio. Uh, they have a lot of beer there. So when you see one of those cities, uh, it could be beer. It doesn't have to be, but it could be beer, especially if it's heavy, like forty-four thousand. And beer is very, very. Um, th these, f th this is really um, unusual the way they do it. Uh, not just that it takes long time alone. Not not just that it's heavy. It's like really heavy. They like they would sometimes uh, put put your truck on a scale and then load it like like all the way to the last pound, literally just like you know like beer comes in, in these uh, box cases and then if if you're uh, like twenty pounds, if you're twenty pounds too heavy uh, somewhere on an axle or on a truck, they're not gonna take the whole pallet. They're just gonna take that one box off. You know they, that that's how they are. Um, so beer uh, is is just not, and then a lot of people will not do it uh, uh, for religious uh, reasons or you know moral reasons or whatever uh, your thing might be. So usually when the broker calls you, they will tell you that it's beer, uh, that it's alcohol. Um, so and then I don't I don't do beer. Uh, due to uh, a lot of reasons, okay, uh, not not just heavy. It's also religious. It's also you know uh, don't want to do morally anything with alcohol um, for me. So that that's another reason, but also a big reason. But that because it's heavy and 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 these are um, very uh, long wait times at pickup and delivery. Uh, I hope this video helped you a little bit. Uh, there are probably a lot of commodities. If you know something, uh, leave a comment. Uh, in the comment section like uh, to to uh, tell us about that like what it is what is it that you don't want to hold as a driver or you don't want to book as a dispatcher so uh, thanks for watching like the video come back for more and i'll see you around